Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that it's fall. It is one of my favorite times of year. And today we're gonna combine two of my favorite things, caramel apple cinnamon rolls. A big thank you to Fleischmann's for sponsoring this video. I am so excited to work together because I have made many recipes using Fleischmann's yeast. We've made pizza, we've made rolls, we have made so many things. And today we're gonna make a delicious, fall a treat. Growing up, we had an apple tree in our backyard and Molly and I used to pick all the apples and we would make everything apple. Hot apple cider, applesauce, apple pie. I also love baking with fresh fruit. I love incorporating it into recipes. It's just so delicious. I kid you not, when I test baked these, Michael had three. I had to rip three out of Michael's hands. It was way more than three. Michael, and that's how I knew. We've done it. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Now we're gonna make our dough. In a large bowl, we're gonna mix together flour, sugar, salt, and two packets of Fleischmann's yeast. And this is rapid rise, so it's really easy to use and it's gonna save you a lot of time. Then whisk together until well combined. Ooh, this is looking good. I'm gonna set this right over here because we're gonna use it in just a second. But before we finish there, we've got to heat up our dairy. You're gonna pour milk into a medium-sized bowl and butter and then heat them together till they reach about 120 to 130 degrees. You can either do this on the stove in a pot, little sauce pot. I'm probably just gonna be using the microwave. Pull your flour mixture over and pour all of your wet ingredients while it's still warm inside. Then use a spatula to mix together well. I like using a spatula for this part because it's easy to scrape down the sides while you mix. And this recipe is great because you don't need any fancy equipment. Just keep mixing until all of the dry ingredients are gone. You wanna work them all in. Our dough is looking good and while it's still warm, you're gonna add two eggs, the full egg, the white and the yolk, and two more cups of flour. Once again, using the spatula, you're gonna mix together until well combined. Gotta break up those yolks. <gasps> this dough is looking good and it's a bit sticky. So what we're gonna do is lightly flour the work surface in front of you and knead the dough for about five minutes, just using your hands. This is one of my favorite things to do. Baking is kneading dough. It gives you a good arm workout. Put a little flour on my hand, sprinkle a little flour on top, boop, 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 boop. Boop. Oh yeah. If you've never kneaded dough before, it's really easy. So you're gonna fold the dough over towards you. And then with this part, the palm of your hand, you're gonna push it away. And then fold in half towards you, then push it away. And I just keep turning it. So it's like this, turn, push, pull. Turn, push, pull. Hey, look at that. It's already starting to get less sticky, which is what we want. Just keep doing this for about five minutes and you can add a little bit more flour if, look at that, if it gets a little sticky, just add a little bit more flour, that's okay. That looks great. Once you've kneaded the dough, you're gonna place it into a bowl and cover it with a piece of food safe plastic wrap and let it sit just out at room temperature for 10 minutes to rest. And while that's resting, we're gonna prepare our filling. To make the filling, it is super easy in a small bowl. Mix together some dark brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. These are my favorite fall spices together. Oh yeah, so good. Then whisk together until well combined. Set this off to the side while we peel and dice our apples. Depending on how big your apples are, you might need one or two, but I'm gonna be using Granny Smith apples. These are my favorite apples to bake with for so many reasons. You can bake with any apple, but these are the best. I'm gonna peel them and dice them on top of this cutting board and you want a little over a cup of diced apples. While you're peeling, just be careful, don't get your fingers. Use all of the apple, but not the core. It's not very good. Once sliced, now dice your apples into small little cubes. Just want them to be pretty small. And you got little snacks as you go. Our filling is now ready, so I'm gonna set this off to the side. And our dough has rested, it's ready to roll out. Remove the food safe plastic wrap, 
Mm -hmm. Lightly flour your work surface. All right, here we go. Pick up the dough. You know what, I'm just gonna plop it. Plop the dough on top of your work surface and roll out to be about a quarter inch thick. You want it to be a rectangle shape and about 14 by 20 inches. I'm just eyeballing it. Sprinkle a little flour, get my rolling pin, start rolling it out. All right, that's looking so good. That is the right size, that's what we're going for. Now we're gonna spread the filling on top and to get our filling to stick, we're gonna be using a little bit of softened butter. Now this is not melted butter and it's not refrigerated butter. It's at room temperature, a little warm, it's softened butter and I'm gonna be spreading it on with a brush. Just a baking brush is fine. And you're just gonna spread over the top like this. Oh, this is gonna make it taste delicious and make all the filling stick and stay in place. Be generous, you wanna cover the whole top with softened butter. Oh wow, art. <laughs> this is straight up butter art. Ding! Now completely cover the butter with your filling. Oh yum, 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 yum. Last part of our filling, but definitely not least, you're gonna sprinkle on the diced apples. I love baking with fresh fruit, especially apples. The apples are gonna add moisture and texture and taste. It's gonna be incredible. Once you've got all your toppings on top, it is time to roll your cinnamon rolls. This is, we're just making a delicious treat right here turn into a cinnamon roll. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're gonna start the roll. I like to use both of my hands and I actually use all of my hand because I've got little hands. I start on one end and then just keep working all the way down. <laughs> awesome. Now this looks like a roll cake. If you've ever made a roll cake before, this is basically what it looks like at the end of the day. But we're making cinnamon rolls, so we've gotta make some cuts. Now this recipe makes 12 cinnamon rolls, and once we slice them, we're gonna place them into a casserole dish. This casserole dish I have already greased and lined with a little piece of parchment paper here at the bottom. Oh, it's a little greasy, but I wanted to show you. I just cut it to fit the bottom, and I do this so that when you remove the cinnamon rolls, it just makes it super easy. So I'm gonna set this off to the side and just place them in there as we go. Using a large knife, cut 12 cinnamon rolls from your log. I'm gonna be starting in the middle. I'm using an eyeballing technique. You can measure your log. I'm just gonna go with my gut instincts, so hopefully they're even. Perfect. Oh, look at that. It looks amazing before it's even baked. I wanna eat this right now. I'm gonna okay, place this in the corner. Just pick them up, place them inside. It's gonna be a tight fit, but we can get them all in there. Once you've got all of your cinnamon rolls in the pan, we're gonna cover them one last time with food safe plastic wrap and let them rise for a half hour. Then heat your oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna bake them for 30 minutes. You'll know they're done when the edges turn a nice golden brown. While the cinnamon rolls are baking in the oven, we are gonna make a very simple glaze to go on top. And this just isn't the traditional glaze that goes on a cinnamon roll. This is going to be a caramel glaze. This is gonna make these cinnamon rolls our apple caramel cinnamon rolls. It's super simple. All you're gonna need to do is take your butter, put them in a medium sized sauce pot, boop, oh, <laughs> and take some dark brown sugar and cream over to the stove. Turn your heat to medium and melt the butter. Once the butter has melted, add your dark brown sugar and heavy cream and whisk together. Whisk constantly until dissolved. Then bring to a boil for two minutes. Finally, remove the saucepan from the heat and allow it to cool for 10 minutes. Once your cinnamon rolls have baked, give them about 10 minutes to cool and then we're going to drizzle our homemade caramel glaze on top. This is the last step to tying them all together so they can become caramel apple cinnamon rolls. <laughs> all right, just take a little spoon and drizzle on top. You can put a little or a lot, whatever you'd like. I'm putting one spoonful of glaze on each roll. And if you love caramel, you might wanna put two because this glaze is a light caramel flavor. Ta-da, there you have it. Delicious homemade caramel apple cinnamon rolls. They're so easy to make and they're warm and they're fluffy. I'm starting to drool. I need to go have one myself. 
myself because I'm ready to enjoy one. Oh, I can't wait. Look at this. This smells so good. Okay, let's get a nice big bite and... Oh yeah. This may be one of the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had. This is so good. Are you kidding me? Incredible. The fresh apple is so good in here. It's a fall masterpiece. I'm just gonna eat this whole thing. Again, I'll be posting the recipe down below so you can go check it out down there. And I'll be posting a bunch of pictures all on social media. And if you guys make this recipe at home, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. And if you have any other suggestions for any other recipes you'd like to see me make, leave me a comment. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like these baking videos and fall time recipes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And again, a big thank you to Fleischmann's for sponsoring this video. This literally wouldn't have been possible without them. There is just nothing better than homemade dough. It is so good. It's just... It's the best. I made the cinnamon roll recipe using the rapid rise yeast and I loved it because it saved me a lot of time. Thanks for watching, bye you guys. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. I was gonna say there's so many options, but there's literally two.